TOA has been out for a couple of weeks now, and the question that I see pop up every single day, is it worth to solo? Many people have been going mysteriously dry in this raid, leading some people to believe that the drop rates are bugged. So, is that the case? Well, I'm gonna put it to the test and send solos all day today at varying different invocation levels so we can check out the loot. All right, so we are going to be kicking it off with a classic 150, which is the basic normal mode. Sorry, that was my imbued fart. I promise that wasn't me. I'm gonna pop a list of the invocations on screen right now so you guys can check that out. And we're just gonna do this for probably a couple hours because in all honesty, it's a little boring. It's a little too easy. However, if nothing else, it is a pretty good warm up. Oh, also, I forgot to freaking, oh man, I forgot to show you guys my gear. All right, hold up. After this room, I'll pop that on the screen so you guys can check out what we are rocking. Real quick, I would like to give a massive thank you to Raycon for sponsoring this video. Now, as some of you know, I am currently moving into my very own office for streaming and content creation, and it is a hassle to say the least. But with these bad boys right here and some good tunes, it's been much, much easier. These little guys here are Raycon's everyday earbuds, and they look, feel, and most importantly, sound better than ever. I was extremely impressed at the sound quality, especially considering how affordable these are. And on top of that, the optimized gel tips are super comfortable and secure. I mean, I've been sprinting on the treadmill with these guys and they just do not budge. I also love how intuitive the controls on these things are. A single tap on the right earbud raises the volume, a tap on the left one lowers it, a double tap on the right either pauses or plays the song, and a triple tap on the right skips to the next song while the left goes to the previous. The last feature I wanted to touch on is the noise isolating and awareness modes. Now, noise isolating is if you just wanna have you and your music, but if you hold the right ear button for three seconds and swap to awareness mode, you can hear everything going on around you. This is great if you're in public or if you need to pay attention to something. Ordering a pair of Raycons really supports my channel, guys, so click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com tasty to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Okay, room done. Sorry, that's actually my least favorite room. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like a lot of people share that sentiment. It just feels a little bit too slow. I don't know. It's like triple the length of every other puzzle room. But yeah, before we go into Baba, real quick, let me pop this up for you guys. Oh yeah, there we go. So this is the gear setup, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably not gonna change the setup for different invocations, purely because I'm too lazy with one caveat, and we'll get into that when we get to the uh, the expert modes here, but I'm still debating. Also, for those curious of the room order, I do this for for every single invocation level, even if I have walked the path on. I just start with that Mechan, and then I go Scabarus, Krondus, Head. So just right to left, the turbo brainlet order, but it kind of works out, it's fun. Oh, bro, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I still don't know how to do this one, bro. I, ah. Uh... Okay, wait, hold up, we got this, we got this. Watch, watch this. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Um, all right. <laughs> okay, I'll get back to you guys later. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna flip it. Okay, well, that is the first KC done. We did not use a single dose of Ambrosia or really any other supplies. And we get whew, absolutely nothing. Shocker, that is crazy. Can't believe we didn't get a purple. All right. Dude, this thing just shreds. Like, this staff is so fucking good now, it's insane. At this point, I'm just drinking Ambrosia to feel something. I, you know what, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna do mechanics. I'm just gonna sit here, and I'm just gonna drink Ambrosia. I think that should be okay. Yeah, okay. That's my new strat. All right, Casey, number two. Shocker. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick science experiment. I am not going to do the vents. I'm just gonna let them explode and I wanna see how much damage I take so I can see if it's worth it to like even do the mechanic. 35, nah, I'm not gonna do it. It's a waste of time. That's the best strategy I've ever done in my life. Absolutely insane. And a new PB, 1929. So if we're really fast, we can get about 3kc per hour, which uh, is close to the rate we're getting right now. Ooh, and never purple, wow. Also, not sure if I've talked about this yet, but we actually do have a decent idea of what the drop rate should be. Runelet has been doing some community sourcing, I guess you could say, so we do have a decent idea. And the rates for solos in 150 is it's like 1 out of 52 or something like that, I don't know exactly. And that's obviously assuming Deathless. 
In an expert mode, however, it is closer to 1 out of 20, which is, like Jagex said, about uh, 2.5x or whatever they tried to make it. So theoretically, it is much more worth it to do experts. Now, I don't know if everyone that I know has just been going hilariously dry by chance, but, um, but you know, hopefully it's not bugged. Anyway, all goes to say, we probably won't get a drop today. I mean, we very well might. It is theoretically possible. But if that's the case, I plan on playing for about 8 to 10 hours. I'm going to do 2 hours of 150, 2 hours of 225, and then 4 hours of 300. So in an 8-hour day, I feel like we should be able to get something. However, my luck on YouTube videos is uh, hilariously poor usually, so we'll find out. <laughs> uh, all right. That is the fourth, Casey. Shocker. Classic. Gotta love it. Okay, that is the fifth KC and the final one of 150s. We're gonna bump it up. That took a little under two hours, but uh, yeah, I'm bored. We're going up to 225. Surprise, no purple. All right, let's raise the stakes here. Honestly, I like doing more of the boss ones normally, so I don't have to uh, enable any of the annoying general invocations. However, they did just change deadly prayers, so it no longer hits you through prayer, it just drains your prayer when you do take damage. That's a pretty free 20 points. I'm actually going to try that one. Blood Thinners is probably pretty free. We could do uh, Gotta Have Faith. Uh, I'm going to save Insanity for the Expert Solos. In fact, let's just turn on Walk the Path. Ooh, that's 235. All right, hold up. Yeah, you know what? Frick it. Let's do 235. Okay, that should be pretty good. And Walk the Path is interesting because I could kind of explain how it works before we jump into Expert Modes with Walk the Path and Insanity and all the other crazy stuff on. Yeah, there's a definite noticeable difference between these two invocations. On Baba especially, because Baba's such a freaking tank, dude. I am not looking forward to the 450 and 500 invocations challenges with this guy. Oh, and also, that gives me a great opportunity to talk about Walk the Path. Now, that's an invocation that I actually shied away from for a long time. The path leveling was a little bit too brutal, and it really just wasn't worth the points. However, they made the path scaling much more forgiving, and they also increased the points to 50 points, which is kind of a lot. So, you'll see up in the top left corner, they have these levels 1 and 1. Now, basically, every single time a path levels up, that increases the health and HP and everything of all the monsters inside. However, oops, oh, nice. Ah, so close. And the bosses will also get extra mechanics when they hit certain level up thresholds. Now, the thresholds used to be 1 and 2, which is why the path level mechanics were so brutal. However, they nerfed it to 2 and 4. You'll typically have to include one of the other path leveling mechanics to get to level 4. So, usually, they only scale up once. Now, this translates to a couple things. The back attacks faster. Akkad has another phase in the memory. But, uh, in general, it's pretty manageable. So, I like running it now. Dude, this stock is so insanely good, man. It's just cracked. Was that a 28? Okay, so 235 take about 30 minutes. It's not too bad. And on the first one, do we get a purple? Nope. Oh, okay. I'll take an elite clue. That's actually really, really good. I would love some elite clues. Beautiful. <sighs> Clean. Lovely. And a white light. Man. Ambrosia is too powerful, bro. <laughs> it really is, dude. Bada bing, bada boom, nothing. All right, that's gonna be the last 235 to do before we jump to the big boy experts. And we get nothing. Okay, it is time to ramp up the pressure. We are absolutely gonna be doing some expert runs. Now, first and foremost, we gotta turn on insanity because that's fun. And we'll turn on feeling special. We'll do 305. I don't think that should be too horrific, honestly. Gotta be slightly cook at the raid still, but um, I would say my average time is about 30 minutes for an expert solo. So I gotta do one quick thing before we go in. Let's take a little trip to the GE. All right, apparently one of the absolute best things that you can buy for this raid is a Zerite crossbow. And I did used to own one of these, actually. I bought one when I was getting ready for the TOA release. However, I sold it pretty quickly so I could afford Missouri and all that stuff. And turns out it's actually quite useful. I'm gonna pop it in for 233. Okay, it's going up. I think people are starting to learn it's a little bit better. I'll pop it in for 250. That's actually pretty cheap. Okay, that should be pretty good. It does take two inventory slots because we got to bring both the crossbow crossbow and the bolts, but in my opinion, it's going to be worth it. I'm going to give it a try at a few of the bosses here and see how I like it. All 
right, all right, all right. Gonna give the ZCB a shot here, and we kick it off into our experts. So I'm gonna grind this out for like four hours, I think, and I made myself a nice little gentleman's mocha to kind of boost me along the way. So hopefully this goes well, and for the love of God, I hope we see something, man. Just, just one little purple. That's all I want. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. I would like to make an announcement. This boss fucking sucks. I hate this boss. Dude, what am I... God, I hate that combination. I didn't take damage, and I think it usually is fair. It never will actually, like, damage you if you play it correctly, but I still... I hate that combination. That needs to be stopped. Uh, you know what? For the culture? Hold up, hold up. This is... This is entirely for the culture. Let me see if we can get this. Whoop. <laughs> oh, yeah. Easy and free. That did not do that much damage. <laughs> the ZCB will actually be pretty nice here because I don't have to put on my entire freaking eight-way melee switch to claw this guy. Um, I say is I don't even put on my range switch at all. Hold up. That's the wrong weapon. Okay, beautiful. All right, see what this delivers. Oh, that's beautiful. You love to see it. That's actually really, really sick. And it's only a two-way switch. All right, that's much nicer for this. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Okay, feeling special is way more fun. I don't care what anyone says. It's more fun. It genuinely feels too slow if it's not turned on. Like, it, it, it actually messes me up. Okay, also, normally I use my first dose of adrenaline at the end of Akka so I can just claw four times. But I'm going to be honest, I don't really think that's, like, worth it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the liquid adrenaline for the final phase of uh, the Wardens here, the Enrage, because that'll give me two ZCB specs, potentially three, I'm not totally sure. Um, and that's just massive, massive damage. I probably won't even have time to get three off. Oh no, I accidentally sipped my adrenaline. Oh, did not mean to- What the fuck is that? Where are my clicks? Here we see Phase 3 Insanity Wardens. I actually think this is one of the best fights in the game. This is so much fun. I think Jagus did a really good job of understanding RuneScape as a rhythm game. And this fight just feels very, very clean and very rewarding if you have good movement. Okay, alright. I messed up. I don't my adrenaline, so it's gonna be one ZCB spec, but I'm still gonna send it. Die! Jesus Christ! That was the messiest final phase I think I've ever had. Why was that so awful? But that's why we get rewarded! God, never mind. Man, this is weird. This spawned like this. I feel like that's not supposed to happen. I mean, I'll take it, but still. If you don't like this part of Akka, you're a wimp. And you're bad. And that's my final thoughts. Just don't stand in the way. Bam. Oh my god, look at us go. Shawish. That's all you have to do, gamers. It's free and easy. Also, fun fact, you can stand in any cardinal direction. Oh no! Of those shadows. Um, I did not see that one, so it does not count. And uh, you won't get hit by the lightning bomb, so fun little fact. Oh yeah, okay. That was way faster than last time. The ZCB is actually massive for that, because it's nearly two like, guaranteed specs, so it's like 220 damage off the rip. In a solo, that's pretty massive. All right, do we milk? Nah. Okay, not too bad. Yep. Hell yeah, so sick. White light, love it. Love it. No, I'll take a mill chest. You know what I find weird about Kefri is that I would say it's unequivocally the easiest boss in this raid, but when you start adding all the invocations, it becomes the worst. I'm not even kidding. I don't even think it's like hard necessarily, but I would rather do Akka with all invocations on than Kefri. Dude, Kefri is complete dog shit with every single invocation. Oh, Defender. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my god, wait. That worked? Oh. Um, okay. I'll take it! They made that way more forgiving. Holy shit. Man, I hate being a front row, Andy. I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Oh well, it's good practice, because I'm almost certainly going to end up in the front row when I'm doing the 500 indications. What the fuck? This thing is already solved. Did they just do this? Dude, I'm actually insane. I'm so good at this game. Holy fuck. Oh. This is not what I wanted to do. This is... <laughs> this is unfortunate. <laughs> okay, for the love of God, Tebow, please hit something, dude. Please hit something against this guy. Ah, oh, dude, I'm literally so fucked. <laughs> no, dude, please. God damn it. Oh, this keeps getting worse and worse.
Okay, I've got a moral quandary, alright? My DoorDash is outside of my porch. It's getting cold by the second. But, this is a timed run, bro. Alright, I don't have a lot of time to spare. Don't know what to do. Kidding, I do. I'm gonna go get the DoorDash. I'll be right back. Huh? Oh! You stay tasty. Mm-hmm. Alright. Mission accomplished. Nice. Bro, I'm gonna die because I'm eating french fries in this fight. Almost guaranteed. Man, sometimes the staff goes burr. And sometimes it really doesn't. That was one of the times the staff went burr. Okay, please give us a purple. I want to go eat my DoorDash. Oh my god. Shocker. Yeah, dude, I'm not gonna lie. The purple rate is it's kind of depressingly low. I've been doing this for almost eight hours today. Ooh, I will take an elite, actually. That's kind of nice. And then these cache of runes actually do a bunch, a bunch of damage, too. These guys, they usually give, like, a couple hundred K. I'll take it. I have a flight very, very early tomorrow, so I'm going to end this session with one last KC. Gamers, see if we can get anything. Also, ZCB, massive W. I'm starting the movement now. I'm definitely not merching ZCBs. I actually pinky promise, but uh, please, fill the God, if you can afford a ZCB, and without, even without, you know, like, stiffen yourself on Missoria or Shadow, probably get those things first. Get a freaking ZCB, dude. This thing is actually insane. Bro, I swear to God, these they, they program these freaking cursed baboons to literally just run around the statue and drag you around me and try to freeze them. They're actually so troll. Oof. All right. Not bad. Final run. Is there any hope? Is there any hope? We're walking. Ah, man, dude, this raid sucks. Total loot, by the way, from 15 raids, which we got done today, was 5.3 million GP. So I'm assuming we lost money. And now to answer the ultimate question, is soloing TOA worth it? Well, technically, you could say yes. You don't actually get punished for soloing. However, the loot does scale with every person. So if it's 1 out of 20 in a solo, it's 1 out of 10 in a duo to see a purple. So we think. We don't know for sure, but that's how we think it works. And if that is the case, well, you know, it probably is a little faster to do teams. I would imagine it's probably similar, but the drop rate for this raid is relatively rare compared to the other two raids. So it feels kind of shitty. Now, honestly, it's going to be a similar amount of GP if you're soloing, but uh, it's just going to take longer. So solo, if you like it. Team, if you like it. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and I hope you stay tasty.